Hey there everybody, Fett here, and welcome back to Fett Plays Civilization 6, Gathering Storm. Scotland's doing alright, I gotta say, we're pretty decent in size. Everybody loves us, even, well, I mean, kind of, Indonesia is, you know, not hating us completely. She wants to control all the islands. We got a plus two on that, which means we're not controlling all of them. Although I am about to go, you know, land on an island and take it over. So, and I actually did take one over recently. So, they're pleased with my lack of great people. Beautiful. They like espionage, France. I just want to see relations with everyone, what I'm doing right. Embassy. They don't like the fact that we've competed with her for a great work recently. Kree are declared friends. No negative points. We got trade routes going. But we got trade routes going with them? I gotta look at my trade routes. Maybe I do want to form an alliance here. Canada. We clear out barbarian camps. They like us for that. Persia. We have a lack of great people. We declared a surprise war many, many years ago. And they're happy to hear that we have an ancient history of, you know, fighting people. We settled too close to Saladin, but they're still happy with our barbarian camp clearing capacity. And who can really complain about that? In Korea, well, they just like the fact that we're science-oriented. Hello, Builder. How you doing? Yeah, let's just go ahead and pump out a farm. I like that idea. Another turn done. What is it now? 11? Well, it's 11.40. What is it going to 11.50? Indonesia has denounced Korea. Probably for taking over Bima. And also thanked Korea for archipelagic... Archipelagos. Archipelagos. That's, what, that's the word I was looking for. Anyway, Arabia has learned, has discovered a new economic policy. It's pretty great. We are falling behind culturally. and We got to fix that. But first, it's time for World Congress again. Luxury policy. Double duplicates the chosen luxury and how many amenities they get, or one resource creates no amenities. I'd rather have positive than negative amenities. I'm gonna be honest with you here. And what do I have? I have sandalwood. But I can't really use it yet. Oh, I got diamonds, yo! Double diamonds, please. Border control. New districts built by this player act as culture bombs. I mean, yeah, I would love that myself, personally. I'd love that over borders will not grow via culture. I'm sure everyone's probably going to vote one for themselves on that one. Which means it's just going to get given out randomly. Hey, I got it. Look at that. Awesome. So, pearls grant no amenities. I mean, that doesn't hurt me that much, but holy crap. Dude, Indonesia did not want pearls to give out amenities. What the hell? Badong needs more housing. What the hell? Trade route capacity is increased. Well, that turns me on a little bit. Promise fulfilled to Arabia to stop settling nearby. Perfect. That means I could settle over here if I wanted to be a real cheeky bastard. But I would lose loyalty if I tried, so... Probably not gonna happen. Got a great person, though. It's a great admiral, Francis Drake. First name, sir. We get extra gold, and military units get extra rewards for plundering sea trade routes. Sure. I'm happy with that. Our civilization's attention to the naval arm of our military has given rise to a great admiral in our ranks. We literally have no naval ships. Crew, <laughs> the great admiral from Scotland, invent the sailor's yarn after their first sea voyage. It's literally our first sea voyage. It's because I've been building harbors. Uh, lighthouse upgrade is tempting. Ooh. Ooh. I could get some culture going. I do need culture. This is undeniable. And is turn eight the place to get us that culture? Maybe. What happens if I take this guy off here? Put him over here. We're still... Yeah, they're, they're good. They're good. This will work. This will work. No, stop. Everyone stop being locked in. Okay. I like this. Theater Square right here. 
do me up. All right, Sir Francis Drake. I wish I could put you on auto explore because that's what I want you to do. I want you to explore. I mean, Sir Francis Drake, that's what he do. So go ahead and learn me a little bit about Arabia. Actually, I didn't think about this. Can, can Great Admirals dock? Like at all? I never thought about that before. Anyway, we're also building an amphitheater in air. It's going to be great. You'll love it. Oh, look. Catholicism is coming to our shores. Macedon has built medieval walls. Oh, jeez. Military fight over there. What is this? Oh, it's my sandalwood. You want my sandalwood? Eh, I'll give it to Canada. Why not? I assume they're nice people. I've heard of them once. They also cleared land in Montreal for Forbidden City. No, you get off my Forbidden City. Not yours. No, 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 no. What can I do to speed up production over here? Mont Saint Michael. Don't judge someone until you've stood at his forge and worked with his hammer. Okay, we can get the pike and shot now, and bombards, which require a buttload of niter, which we do have. All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Okay, Medita Quarter can give us extra housing. I don't think we need that because we can just get upgrades. Aesthetics could be good. Theater Square adjacency bonuses sounds a little sexy. Gold from each envoy sounds good too. How many envoys do we have out there? We got at least eight. Let's see, 11, 12, 13, a 50, 70, 21, 22 envoys. That'd be 22 gold. Ah. Well, I think Charismatic Leaders run its course. So, a Whistlebonkin could be good. We apparently are already trading. It doesn't say we're trading with... With the Kree. Are they trading with us? Oh, they have... Yeah, they have a couple of people trading with us. Okay. We're not getting anything out of it, but still. Okay. Hmm. Maybe it'll be worth it. To switch to Whistle Bunkin. Because that'll, that'll hugely upgrade trade. There are many barriers to international trade, one of them being that everyone uses a completely different currency. Setting up a central bank can convert all these currencies to a single standardized one. That should make things much easier. Let's do that. All right. I'm not giving up natural philosophy. I'd sooner give up my... You know, I'd sooner switch governments. Which I think we could probably end up doing soon. We don't need professional army anymore, but there's really nothing to replace it with. Because we don't need too much when it comes to... Uh, comes to military right now. Anyway, let's switch to Whistlebonkin. Less envoys. More trade potential. Uh, sure, do me up a ballistics. Civics? Uh, ooh, Merchant Republic. Let's get exploration. This guy could probably use an upgrade. Oh, the muskets don't require niter over time. Okay, well then just upgrade this guy right away. Heckin' yeah. I do want to promote Leong. She's over in Edinburgh. And I want aquaculture so we can construct fish... Words. Construct fisheries over there. That is exactly what I want. So now... Now I want two more things. Ooh. Ooh, I can upgrade the barracks to get more production over here. Mm. I actually want a trader, though. I'm gonna do a trader. I hope I don't regret it. Ooh, we need barbarians up here and stone, but also barbarians. I don't want to give up my horses. Leave me alone. Everyone wants a freaking horse in this day and age. Indonesia is trading with Korea. Wilfred Laurier has warned Poundmaker about not being civilized. Apparently there are barbarians near the Cree settlements. And they're unhappy about that. Watch out for this tornado, by the way. Granary's done in Edinburgh. 
Well then. Do me another one. Okay, we're gonna trade... Well, first of all, we're gonna form an alliance with Poundmaker over here. And I want... I kind of want culture. Can we do a cultural alliance? He says, hell yeah, we can. Well, we found Dalal, which I've never heard of before. There is hell. There is darkness. There is the sulfurous pit. Burning. Scalding. Stench. Consumption. One Talent Natural Wonder provides science, production, and gold. Grants a free copy of Sylvite Luxury, not tradable, which provides six amenities to any civilization that owns this tile. Holy jeez. Thank you, Poundmaker. Following where few have gone before, Scotland circumnavigates the world. Plus three era score. We now know the entire world. I believe that is probably because we have you know, learned of their borders? Yeah, we've met a bunch of new city-states, too. We now know all the city-states that they know. Look at this island. This beautiful little island. Full of city-states. There's France. Now we know the, in, you know, the full size of France. You know, the full size of Korea. <coughs> we know them, you know, dying a little bit. What else is new? Cree have a city way the heck down here. Here's most of their cities. There's their capital. Okay. Well, that was, you know, all really good to know. We don't know all of Canada yet, but who does? Probably no one. Can we trade with them right away? Yes, we can. Oh, man. Yeah, let's tr just straight up trade with their capital. Look at this. Two food, three production, 29 gold, three culture. How can we afford not to trade with them? It's... What, what is all these tribal villages? How has no one discovered these yet? What are you guys doing? Also... Circumnavigated the world. Uh, found three natural wonders. And by found, I mean, you know, they've been introduced to us. Yeah, you got one over here. Which we don't get videos for. And then one over here. Cool. Very nice. Very good turn. So I can upgrade my pikeman now to pike and shopman. It only costs 75 gold. And it gets me an envoy for La Venta. So it was easy rare. Moving on. Thought that was all good. Who needs orders? Sir Francis. Keep sailing, my dude. Nice loop-de-loop. -loop. Only a great admiral can do that. I feel like we have more potential up here for cities. Except for this spot. This is the desert. But I mean, if we can... Scotland has places to expand is what I'm getting at here. And I think we're going to take advantage of it eventually. Cree has stumbled on the Great Barrier Reef. And... France has warned Poundmaker about interfering with Black Queen... You best step off. We're allies now. We still have a settler heading down this way. Dude, this place is completely walled off. You can't you can't invade this place from the ocean. I might have to move here. Same TBH. We're good friends. Poundmaker's a good guy. Anybody who Strives to create alliances is a pretty good guy. How can you complain? Alright, we got a pretty established border with Arabia now. Yeah, I'm actually going to have you navigate here. It's going to take an extra turn, but it's probably worth it. Got some desert islands over here. What is this? What is Sorghum? I actually don't know. Um, storm rages on. Looks like there's nothing I gotta do in this turn. Except hope that our Forbidden City gets done before anyone else's. How long before our trade routes, our other trade routes are done? Poundmaker's just started. Got 10 turns on Sterling to Tuban. 
and then 12 on our city-state ones. Okay. Obviously, I want to switch all these to trading with Poundmaker. That's, uh, that's very helpful. And who knows, we can maybe get some more alliances going on eventually. Arabia would probably be an easy choice as long as they, you know, decide to be peaceful. I don't want to be trading with no jerks. Indonesia. Just saying. All right, amphitheater finally done an error. Do a stable upgrade. Yeah, no, that's a little bit more production for only two turns of work. I think that's too easy. And we finally have a holy site over in Tuban. We might actually, after literally like four thousand years, get our own great prophet. I'm not. I'm not gonna buy a great prophet with fate. Although we could get. A great writer. Actually, we're getting the next great writer, it looks like. So, uh, Marie, Ca Marie Catherine over here is going to be joining us. Looks like we might get Joan of Arc as well. Cool. No complaints. I like that we have the advantage of the sandalwood now. People seem to like it as well. Okay, there is one. This left side is a little uncovered as well, but we're going to get seashells. We're going to get Reef, we're gonna get tomato. It's gonna be a good time. Uh oh, Indonesia's not fun loving it, and Palmaker doesn't like that. Clear landing Cairo for the Hagia Sophia. Good to know. I don't really care, but good to know. Sailors and stevedores shout and sing shanties all along the bustling wharfs in the harbor of Badong. Got in the good harbor. And we got an envoy for Jerusalem. And Nazca. That's a lot of... A lot of envoys in uh, religious cities. We're getting a lot of faith. All of a sudden. Nice harbor though, Badung. Proud of you. Keep it up. Library would be good. I still haven't upgraded my government plaza at all. Uh, actually, you know what? Ancestral Hall, take four turns, get that done, get a free builder once we go ahead and found our new city. Easy rares. Terracotta Army is terracotta tempting, at least a little bit. My advisor's like, get a spy. Spy on people. Why aren't you spying? Because we got shrines to repair, lady. Jeez, priorities. Do you know them? Francis. Head north. Explore what's up here. Okay, I actually... This is perfect. I wanted to see up here. Um, no recommended spots for cities, but I'm liking this area. It is mostly plains, which means it's good... There's good potential here. We're going to be founding our city here. Uh, you, can just, you can just wait your ass till next turn, then. Um, it wouldn't hurt to found one down here, either, it looks like. Since that's closer, maybe I should found one here first. Yeah, let's do that. Just to establish our presence here. As the Scottish Empire continues to grow. Uh-oh. Peace is broken out. Watch out! It's okay, it's just Preslav being weird. Persia has adopted triangular trade. Korea has denounced France. Oh no. There's going to be a war over here. Oh. Discovery of ballistics by Scotland sets the world stage for future discoveries in the industrial era. To surmise what happened, but we don't speculate on that until ballistics confirms what happened. Housing out of defense. Sweet. Field cannons, an upgrade to our archers and our crossbows. Curacers, an upgrade to our knights. Two horses per turn, good lord. The day we stop exploring is the day we commit ourselves to live in a stagnant world. Devoid of curiosity, empty of dreams. Damn, Neil deGrasse, DeGrasse Tyson. Colonial offices, faster growth and loyalty for cities not on your original capital's continent. I mean, if we have more economic slots, that's a potential, but there's a lot of good economic policies I want. 
Press gangs, faster production for industrial era and earlier naval units. That's an upgrade to one of our current policies. Merchant Republic, extra gold in all cities with established governor. Extra production towards districts. Extra influence, you know, extra diplomatic favor. Do we want to switch from monarchy to that? I mean, we'll lose housing per level of walls. We'll lose influence points. But we gain economic policy. And a wild card. I think we're we're enthusiastic. Let's do it. First of all, get this screen out of here. Second of all, yeah, we need housing down here now. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, let's switch professional army. Actually, no, let's not switch professional army. We got a lot of units to upgrade. And having it cost half as much would be great. Maybe later we can grab press gangs, but... For now, let's not. Extra sci culture and science from all trade routes is super tempting. Like, hyper tempting. Town charters would be good for commercial hubs. Extra housing through the Medina corner. Quarter. Extra gold from all trade routes. So many good things. Colonial offices actually does not seem that good in comparison. Let's get the trade confederation. More culture. More science. Two things I want. And then a wild card slot so I can have one of anything. What in the world would I possibly do with this? I mean, I could press gangs, but I'm not gonna. Merchant confederation for more gold. It's tempting. Charismatic leader. I can get that back. More great points. Who would I want? Not revelation. That's... No. Maybe... Maybe traveling merchants? Tales of distant lands and precious goods always attract the bravest of merchants. What cost is too expensive when you might return with a caravan full of gold? Or perhaps something worth even more than gold. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Try to get some, you know, great merchants on our side. As we are not actually producing them at all right now. Okay, we need commercial hubs, obviously. What are you doing here? Go away. Get out of here. I know you got a, a house over there. I will knock it down. All right, we've upgraded our roads. Beautiful. I gotta go with scientific theory. You know I gotta do it. Oh yeah, this is... This is just ripe... for growth here. Let's head over here and see what's on the coast this way. Yeah, go ahead and do reformed church. It's not that expensive. Stable upgrade in air. Done. Sun. Amphitheater upgrade is next. We are still way ahead on technology. And we are not completely caught up with the pack on culture, but we're getting there. Alexander Cyrus and Korea are still ahead. Poor Indonesia. Oh, poor Indonesia. Still in the medieval era. Hmm. Well then. I hope a lesson has been learned. You don't screw with Scotland! It's sure, Embassy. Go ahead. I know you like your spies. Macedon has built medieval walls in Pella. And Sionjuk has warned Indonesia about something. Uh, yeah, I'm surprised you didn't have an embassy already. I, I thought they did. What can I say? We're, we're literally allies, and they didn't have an embassy? Whoa, 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 why am I losing horses? Oh, someone must have taken one of our city-states. That's all I can imagine. You son of a gun. We're gonna need to do something about this. This is slightly unforgivable. I guess it's time to... get frigates. I don't want to switch from the Forbidden City, though. I gotta beat Canada to that. Still, this is slightly infuriating. Got a trading post going. That's pretty good. 
Alexander has warned Poundmaker about interfering with short life of glory. He's not going on enough wars. This is Poundmaker's a peaceful guy, dude. Embassies are getting built. Persia is trading with Cree. Arabia has launched an inquisition. Oh boy. That was always work out well. Stop pillaging my city. I'm gonna have to repair all of those. Dude, I am so gonna go on a barbarian crusade now. Oh yeah, Reformed Church gives us the golf course as well. Ooh, that's awesome. Amphitheater is upgraded. Gotta upgrade the university. Gives us culture. Uh, yeah, granary upgrade I think is good. We did a granary upgrade here in Edinburgh. I mean, we could build a campus. We could actually build over here. Or at least we will be able to eventually. Holy jeez! How can I not take a plus five harbor, like, immediately? This trader has no trade destinations? Oh, because this got destroyed. Damn it! You're gonna have to wait, then. Sir Francis, head up this way. Alright, what can I do about that jerk? Let's move our crossbowmen up here. That'll help. You're gonna have to sleep for now until we get this repaired. Anchor Wat, built by Alexander. Kree is seeking a science victory. Join the club. Forbidden City. Persia wants to build a Forbidden City. I'm already ahead, boys. Got some holy wars going on over here. You want my iron? No. Especially since I'm not gaining iron right now. It's a little too rough for me. Preslav has made peace with Alexander. You rampaging ass weasel! Construction of this building has inspired our policymakers. Okay. That must mean that Badong is finished with the Ancestral Hall. Why don't you have a library yet? That seems like a thing that you should have. Theater Square and Turnate is awesome. Uh, they need housing, so go ahead and do the lighthouse upgrade. Upgrade Leong and give me a waterworks. No, wait. Uh... They were an aqueduct district in the city. Amenity for every canal and dam. We're not going to have any of those. So I guess 20% production towards making districts since we're building a harbor over there. That actually works out very well. Do me a settler. Welcome to Dundee. The desert city. Don't worry. At least it's a dry heat. Dundee. My dun dude. Build us... I mean, it's got to be a granary. That's always the first start. What is it? What is this over here? Aloe? Yeah, claim me some aloe. Very cool. Lots of upgrades can happen over there. We met Uckland. They want me to train a field cannon. Good for them. Okay, so there's no no potential up here for cities. Big potential here. Still potential right here. Uh-oh. She mad. Because I occupy one of their cities. I've occupied it for a long time. Do you really want to mess with me right now? I don't want to give away Niter. Not even 20 of it. I mean, is she really thinking this? Naval walls upgrade. Archaeological museum in Seoul, South Korea. Very nice. Yeah, as soon as we're done with the Forbidden City, we're going to repair this stuff. And then I think we're going to go straight into... Straight into Navy. Because this boy's ticking me off. Alright. Granary upgrade. We can go to... Let's do the Armory. 
The harbor in Roxborough's done. Actually feels like it took a long time. You know what? We, have, we don't have walls yet. Do me up a wall. Continue exploring. Okay, Uckland has a lot of size to it, it looks like. I feel like it's quite big. Move over here. Establish a farm. Very nice. I like it. We have a lot... A surprising amount of potential down here, considering Dundee is a city on the coast. Anyway, that's going to be the last turn for this episode of That Plays Civilization VI, Gathering Storm. Just going to let it end here so that we know what we're starting with next turn. Persia has gotten a foreign delegation from Indonesia. They, Indonesia still can't build embassies. Persia's trading with Canada. Pretty nice, pretty nice. You got a hole in your country here, Damascus. Uh, I am... So done with them. Of modern civilization, gunpowder, printing, and the Protestant religion. So we don't need theocracy at all. Don't even worry about it. Wars of religion, don't worry about it. Religious orders, don't worry about it. Simultaneum, that's an Arabia thing. I mean, it is now at least because I'm pretty sure they got that earlier. Saint Basil's Cathedral, don't worry about it. Golf course, worry about it. Amenity, two gold culture. If adjacent to a city center. And culture of adjacent to an entertainment complex. There's a lot that can be had from this. So we're probably going to take advantage of it. Uh, next turn, Caravel's going down. Because I'm tired of that dude. And... We're going to... Can I afford? Dude, frigates are so expensive. But we should be able to get a frigate in a turn or two as well. So we can start striking back against these dastardly barbarians. Might even send my musket men up north. We'll see. That's all going to start happening next time. If you enjoyed this episode of That Plays Civilization Six: Gathering Storm, make sure to let me know by giving a like you haven't already. Feel free to subscribe for more because it's going to keep coming. It probably won't stop coming. Thanks again for watching That Plays Civilization Six. My name is Thet, and I will see you in the next video. You'll be dead. You'll be so dead.